uh, we're down in the basement of our central plant. This right here, of course, is our fire pump. Uh, got us to talk about fire pump. Here, as always, the crew, crew say hey. Hey. So, uh, I was on a call yesterday. A good friend brought up that uh, accrediting organizations were starting to cite uh, fire pump shaft alignment not being documented as part of the annual uh, testing of the fire pump. So, this is required by NFPA 25, 2011 edition, which is what we reference again, because of the 2012 edition of NFPA 101 being adopted by CFS. So, uh, annually, the uh, fire pump shaft is required to be checked against the color shaft. So, this is our fire pump, right? This is our fire pump shaft coming into a coupling. This is our impeller over here that's back to loose uh, water for the pressure. This is the shaft for the impeller. So there's two things that code tells us to look for. For angular displacement uh, and parallel displacement. First, angular displacement is looking at the shaft from all angles. And you actually use a set of calipers or something like this to look at it. Uh, and, and your fire pump technician will do this. So make sure it's on the floor. The angular displacement looks at is any is the angle of the shaft off from any aspect. So looking at this way, you know, the left and right uh, sphere that way up and down, right? So and then parallel displacement is when the shafts don't align from any angle. So looking at it up and down or from the side horizontally shafts put in the line from where we're going to parallel this thing. Same thing left and right uh, looking down at it. So this should be documented if you're using the standards like AFSA or NFSA fire pump testing forms. These are out there uh, as part of, part of that uh, check. And it just says check the scene uh, if, it's, if it's angular, if it's blind or not, and then fix any misalignment. Yes. Uh, so this, if you want to read more about this, the handbook, NFPA 25 does well, the handbook has a, a lot of great information on angular and parallel displacement. Uh, it's in section 8.3 and four dot four, and we'll post that down below. But that's it. So make sure that your fire pumps uh, are being checked annually for displacement. Something you can add to the monthly PMs like your fire pump, weak PPMs for diesel is if you hear or see excessive vibration, then you may want to get your shaft line to check it out. It may just be a coupling issue, uh, but you have to check it out as well. So, Drew, anything else? That's it. Awesome. Until next time, everybody.